Hi everyone, welcome back in another tutorial. Uh, this is Simply Oil Painting and uh, I'm Stephen Conway and I'm giving you um, hints and tips on painting on getting started with oil paints. Um, now in this week I am going to do something which was requested by someone. Uh, Salvat, if you're watching, this is for you. Um, it's just about painting grass. Uh, nice simple grass uh, coming from a distance in a field up close. Uh, just a kind of a nice little tutorial on that. Just something simple. Uh, just kind of show you the basic techniques which I use to uh, paint uh, such a scene. Um, possibly maybe put a little house or something or a tree or something. Um, but just nice, nice and simple. Um, we'll be using some nice fresh bright greens and we'll, we'll do a nice little sky, a nice bright blue sky. So something nice and bright and uh, light today. Okay. Um, I have a painting here which I, which I want to show you. I have a tutorial almost finished on this. Um, I'm just finishing the editing. Um, so I'll show you this painting here. It is Blackpool Church in Cork. And this is down in Blackpool in Cork City. Now it's just finished, it's still wet. Um, but I'm just doing a bit of work on the editing um, on the video because there was a lot of noise in the background. Uh, because of diggers next door and that they're digging out the grass next door and they're putting extensions and stuff on so it was very very noisy when i was painting this so i ended up having to put music through the video in some parts just to block out the noise because it was really really irritating so um i'm just finishing that and i'll be putting this up for you all to see then um very shortly but first i want to concentrate on the new tutorial just for salvat if you're watching uh painting grass now I'm going to mount the camera and I'm going to try and show you some of the palette if I can as well. It's a very wide um, canvas, wide and narrow, we'll say. And I'm going to try and get some of the palette in as well so you can see me mixing. Okay, so I'm going to hook everything up and I'm going to, um, again, I'm going to go into my kitchen. Um, so I've everything set up inside. I'm going to go in and hook the camera onto my stand and start recording. So don't go anywhere guys, I'll see you in just a sec and I hope you enjoy this one, a nice fresh bright one today. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Okay guys, here we are. Um, I have a canvas here, it's 20 inches by 8. It's done. This is just canvas board and um, it's well primed. Now you can see I had some, I was mixing some colours earlier, um, but I will run through the colours with you that I have. And they are titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow. I have some burnt umber, some burnt sienna, which I might not need. Uh, Taylor blue and lamp black. There are the colours, guys. Um, very simple sketch here. Kind of a dirt road in the field, going through a field, off into the distance. And we're going to just have some nice trees off in the distance here and here. And some nice grass then coming forward. Nice, simple tutorial um this week i had a couple of comments um one in particular asking me to paint grass a little tutorial on grass so that's what we're going to do this week guys yes a uh, nice simple tutorial now for the sky it's going to be nice and plain so nice bit of tailor blue and some titanium white and let's mix a nice a nice blue for the sky here and i don't want this too wet so I'm taking plenty of titanium white into this. Nice bright blue sky with some white clouds just kind of flickering across. Nice and simple. Um, it's just it's just a little exercise really on painting kind of painting grass in a field or whatever the case may be. But it's just an easy tutorial for you to try. So let's just bring this blue now right down here, nice and simple, all the way along. Nothing too fancy at all. And some more white in there. Now my white is starting to mix with the yellow that I have on the palette, which is not good. And it's going a slight hint of green. And that is not what I want. So let me just pick up some from the center here and pull that right down now nice and pale at the horizon nice and light that 
There we go. Nice, simple blue sky. Nothing fancy about that, guys, is there? And what I might do is just perhaps make it a little richer just on top. So a little bit of Taylor blue. And Taylor blue is a lovely, earthy, rich kind of a blue. It's not a vibrant blue like um, ultramarine, French ultramarine. It's a kind of a more of a natural blue. It's fantastic for doing skies, um, seascapes, that kind of thing. It's really beautiful. So that is the blue done. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more white because the white on my palette or my palette yeah, the white on my palette here is getting quite dirty and green so I'm going to scrape that off look right I'm just going to scrape it off and make a nice clean spot here for my white there we are that should um, that should help I think And it does help to have a clean palette, but I was using this palette there earlier just for a bit of practice. So I just kind of left it where it was. It was in the, it was in the right position, so I left it. Um, okay, look, I'm going to put some fresh white out. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch brushes. I am going to take little soft bristle brush. It's very kind of splayed out, okay? It's very open. So this is lovely for clouds, bushes, things like that. I'm just going to take some white. Just white on its own. And just put a little flick of white. Just through the sky. Wandering across the sky, minding their own business. Just here and there. You see? And it's just so simple, guys. It really is. You really have to try this. And I'm cleaning my brush after every time I use the white, okay? Because it's picking up the blue. And I want to keep them nice and crisp. You see? I want to keep nice, bright, crisp white clouds floating across the sky in the distance. And perhaps even one or two creeping down here. Like this. Give it a little wiggle. You see? And that gives a nice bit of perspective then, doesn't it? And that's it guys. Simple and done. Job done. Next. I'm good. Now, I'm not even going to soften these because it's just nice as it is. It gives a bit of texture. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take this brush here. a slightly bigger soft brush all my brushes are soft by the way now i want to mix a very dark green for these trees off in the distance i'm just going to take some lamp black and you're probably saying to yourself lamp black lamp black doesn't make green but black and yellow does so black and cadmium yellow pale together makes a lovely rich dark earthy green and into that take a touch of burnt umber and the burnt umber will warm it then slightly. There now, look at that. And let's take some more yellow into this. Let's make it a bit, a little bit richer. There we are. There you see. And we have a nice little row of trees off in the distance there. And as they go further and further away, they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You see. Just like that. And let's take a bit more. Let's come down a bit more now on this side because these are coming kind of closer to us and they're kind of going up the hill. So they're getting a little thicker. Just a little on the thick side. And you see, all I'm doing is dabbing. It's so simple. So that's one side and let's do the same on the next side and the next side I'm going to keep slightly lower down okay so I'm holding the brush sideways and let's just go across here and put a suggestion of some bushes and trees off in the distance 
Isn't that lovely? Simple but effective, guys. That's what I like to say. Simple but effective. So that's the dark part of the tree is done now. The next part I'm going to do is with a smaller brush. I'm going to put sapling highlights on these trees. So I'm going to use this brush here. Small little flat brush. A lovely warm brush again. And let's take some of the yellow and some white. Okay, simple as that. A bit of yellow and a bit of white. Nice thick paint on the brush. And let's start forming the edge of these trees. So the light is coming down from the left hand side. is coming down and catching those trees. That makes sense. And I'm just going left and right, left and right. And it's already creating a sort of a, sort of a three-dimensional shape, isn't it? It's amazing what a little highlight can do. And I'm softening these then, guys, into that dark, that dark area with the brush, just by gently tapping. You see? And clean a brush every time. And a couple here off in the distance. And that's it. So for the next side, I'm going to take some Taylor Blue and pull some of that white into it. And I'm going to make these slightly bluer. Just a little, just a little bluer, just a little. Okay, nice and simple, off in the distance, nothing too, nothing too complicated. That's lovely, isn't it? Next thing is the field. We're going to start pulling in the field. And for that, I'm going to move back to my thicker brush. Just give it a quick clean and take that dark colour off. And by the way guys, if you want to show me your work, I would love to see it. And I'd love to give you hints and tips. And just give you my opinion, I suppose, as well. Um, if you want to send your work on to me, please do. It's at stephenconway12 at gmail.com. Um, I would be delighted. I'd love to see how you're getting on and how you're progressing. So please don't be afraid to um, send me on pictures of your work. I'd love to see it. And uh, you can find me on Facebook as well at Stephen Conway Art. So I hope you um, I hope you follow me guys. Now I'm putting in a nice green up here on the top. So it's, now it's going to be a pale green. So let's take a pale green. Some white and some yellow. A little bit of Naples yellow in. And give it a little wiggle here and there as well. Look. And that now is still probably a little bit dark for me. A little bit on the dark side. So I'm going to lighten it a bit and bring that right down and then it goes off into the distance there we go and this roadway now guys almost disappears as well so when I'm putting this in later it's going to just sort of fade away off into those distant hills, distant trees rather, and it's just going to disappear. So let's carry on now with this. Let's come up this side and create a hill coming down. And you see what I'm doing here now is I'm pulling the dark colour from the trees with the brush. So I'm pulling that dark colour down into the yellow and I'm softening that line just across, you see? And it's making it nice and soft then. And it also creates these lovely effects. Um, it picks up different colours and it creates new colours, if you know what I mean. So that's why I love working wet into wet a lot. Um, it's very nice to move colour around on the canvas. So nice and dark now down at the front here. And then gently 
pulling it across. You see? So already you can see the direction of this hill is starting to fall this way. That's because I was pulling the brush down at a slight angle. Does that make sense? Um, now, same here. So some black and some yellow. And is it amazing now how this black and yellow makes a fantastic green? I didn't go into the blue once. Isn't that just amazing? And it gives a very earthy, rich, a very natural green. So I don't kind of use blues too much when I'm mixing greens. I might just add time every now and again if I'm looking for a very bright kind of a, a green. But in general, black and yellow make fantastic greens. And you can add some burnt cyanide to it or burnt umber. That as well would make a lovely green. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a touch of blue this time as well, just to show you. Just at the front here, I want it nice and dark, really rich. And there we go, just like that. Nice and rich. And what I'm going to do at this stage is start creating the grass. So a very simple fan brush. Give it a quick clean there. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm going to take some cadmium yellow with some white. Now there's some green already there, so I picked up some of the green. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And just gently, let's just gently dab this on now. And I'm holding it perfectly straight. I'm not moving it around. And I'm creating some nice texture. Nice texture on the canvas. You see? So, just here and there, I'm just dabbing this fan brush. Just creating some texture, that's all. And you can even do a little flick as well to create this grass. You see? Just little flicks here and there. So that's why I painted this dark to begin with, so that these would show then lovely, you see? And bring it across here, just here and there. You see? Very, very, very gently dabbing off in the distance. And the lovely thing about the oils is that all of this now is mixing on the canvas to create different shades and tones and colours. And that's the fantastic thing about it. I'm creating a little hill just on this. A little kind of a, a fall. Just as it falls, just in by the bank here. Or by the, the footpath, rather. And I'm going to flick it upwards here towards the front. And I'm moving it around in different directions. Isn't that lovely? Already we have some grass, just like that. Isn't that amazing? And you could use a flat normal brush for this as well. Um, in fact, I would sometimes just use my normal flat brush for this. But uh, I wanted to show you how to use the fan brush. How you can do so many different things with this one brush. It's just truly amazing. There we go, working away. And this is just a kind of a quick tutorial now, guys, but you can take your time at home with this. Uh, really take your time. So let's get some thick yellow here now. And let's go in and pick up a good bit of white. Let's put some nice bright ones in. Okay. And isn't that so easy? It really, really is. Now, you can um, go right in and put some really thick ones in as well. Okay, like this. Up close. Now, 
and it just has a nice natural feel so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm just going to pick up some white on its own the corner of my brush and I'm going to suggest some little flowers just here and there some daisies or something just here and there amongst the grass okay just a few there and just a tiny couple here and there isn't that nice nice and simple and the next thing I'm going to do is I think I will fill in this footpath now we'll come back to the grass later we'll put some details in here with the little pointy brush okay um, but for now I'm just going to crack on with the footpath and I'm going to take some white some burnt umber and some naples yellow and I'm just going to put in this footpath here so it's a nice warm almost kind of a sandy color I'm using there we are I'm just leaving the center there for that grass this kind of a grassy verge just in the center of the um, roadway the dirt track should we say so I'm leaving that and let's go around here and this is giving lovely perspectives as well now guys in the painting as you can see so because the road is going off it's adding to the perspective going off into the distance and disappearing isn't that lovely so I have the little base colour in for that now what I'm going to do is just brighten it right off in the distance there with some Naples yellow and white and let's make this very bright now off in the distance you see next step guys next step let's create some dirt on this road okay just some dirt let's create some dirt let's take a little black and a little brown on the fan brush okay very thin I'm just gonna dab very gently just here and there look and it's creating some nice texture little pebbles and stones and all kinds of things around on this on this dirt track here and it's just about creating texture that's all you see isn't that lovely and then what I'm going to do is just darken this edge just along by the grass here with some dark dark green so just go along here with some dark color you see doesn't that look nice and you can even pull it out slightly as well into that so I'm blending everything sort of in together here now did not turn out nice and you see we can define the line off in the distance then very very slightly just very slightly you see just with a hint a hint of dark color now the center one here I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to put that in nice and dark again there we are just like that let's get some more I need to get some more yellow actually because I've nearly gone out of yellow again and I'm going to put a very dark now just in here okay just along there and then I'm going to take some more yellow on my palette and um, let's take some yellow and a little white and just on the top put a couple of flicks here and there see
You see that? So easy. It really, really is so simple, guys. It really is. You have to try this. Okay, next step. Um, I am going to put a tree here. I think it would benefit the painting if I put a big tree in. I think it would really help. So I'm taking some black and some yellow. And I'm going to go up here and put a big, big tree in. Um, let's say around here, okay? Just like that. Nice big tree, and I'm going to do another one just here, small one. And just twisting the brush as I move it around, okay? See? Twist the brush. Let's do a slightly bigger one just here. And I suppose we must put a shadow in, don't we? So let's just dab a little shadow in across the field here. And that will sit the tree down. The shadow will always sit the tree down, won't it? You see? Doesn't that look much better? Gives a little bit of, comp you know, helps the composition slightly. So I'm going to put some highlights on these trees. And I know I'm working kind of very quickly here now, but I like working wet into wet to get these effects. Um, I'm going to take some yellow with some white. And let me see now, I'm just looking, I'm going to start here and just start putting in some brights, just here and there. And that will really help give the tree a kind of a 3D effect. You see? Very, very simple. These are very simple techniques that I kind of invented myself, just easy ways of doing things with lots of um, really big effects. Okay, next I am going to put in I think I put in somebody walking along there, it might be nice, wouldn't it? Um, before I do that though, I just want to lighten the footpath, the roadway here with some white. I'm just going to take some white and Naples yellow and just put a couple of dabs of that just along there, just to increase the rough look, okay? Some little stones, things like that. Does that, that looks better, doesn't it? And with my pointy brush, I'm going to take some bright red and I'm going to put in a person here now, which side? Left or right? We we'll go with the left because I'm left handed. Okay, bright red top. Like this. And we'll give him a little bit of shade just on this side. And let's give him a little walking stick. And then let's take some burnt umber and Put in the bottom half, like this, and let's darken one side of that. And also, I'm going to put a shade, a shadow, across up onto this grassy verge here. You see? That really helps kind of sit him on the floor, doesn't it? And then let's take some black and just give him a little head. And don't go too big with the head, guys. So there we are. A nice little man walking along the dirt road. Probably heading to his farm or whatever. And I'm just going to hit that with some yellow just along here.
So that's nice now, lads. Mm. Right, I'm going to put in some final details here um, on this grass. I'm going to take some black and some yellow. And I'm going to get some real dark grasses just around here and there. Just for a bit of contrast. And then I'm going to do the same with some lights. So I'm going to clean my brush, take some cadmium yellow with some white, and a couple of little bright flicks here and there. Now you can wait till this is dry to do this. Um, I'm kind of working wet into wet hair, so it's a little tricky. Uh, but you could just leave it dry overnight, perhaps. Um, and then come back the next day and put some nice bright highlights on this. But I'm just kind of showing you here now, just kind of roughly, how I would do it, even when the canvas is dry. Just a couple of little flicks here and there, up close. And um, it's looking good. Oh, a nice little impression of a grassy field. And um, what would be nice actually, even if you wanted to, we could do it now. We could even put some little suggestion of red poppies there. Little, couple of little red dots just here and there, see? And you could do as much or as little as this as you like. I'm just showing you here, just for the tutorial, um, how easy it is, just with the fan brush. A few here and there. Now, oh, isn't that lovely? So with that guys, um, I'm going to sign, sign the painting. Uh, just put a board up here first. I like to put a board on my painting, just like my trademark. And I'm going to sign the painting very quickly. S. Conway. I will do this again once it's dry. So that's kind of it guys. Um, you can brighten some of the highlights, if you wish, on the trees. Uh, so, for instance, let's just take some white and some yellow. And you could just use the fan brush and put some dabs of highlights in just here and there. You see? And brighten them a bit more. You can do as much or as little as this as you like, as I said. Um, but it's entirely up to yourselves. So let me just take the camera off here and let me speak to the camera so you can see me. Now that's nice, isn't it? Nice simple scene in the grass, grassy field, with a little footpath going through. So that turned out quite well, didn't it? I hope you liked it. Um, subscribe, guys. Subscribe for all the latest videos. Give me a like and please share my videos. I'd be very grateful if you could share everything for me. I'm trying my hardest to get as many subscribers as I can. So um, please send me on photographs of all your work that you're finishing. I'd love to see it and I'd love to give you hints and tips on it. Um, let me know, you know, just send them on to me. Uh, stephenconway12 at gmail.com And um, check out my Facebook page, guys. Stephen Conway Art. And um, again, if you want to support me, Patreon. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate all your help. So God bless and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Something new for you to try. I will see you, um, I'll see you very soon. So uh, thanks very much guys and God bless.